Hi, this is Randa with Prairie Quilt. Today I'm going to show you how to hand bind a quilt. This little quilt I've done by hand, sewn on top and rolled over to the back. And that's what I want to show you is how to get that nice smooth look right here. I'm going to use the Wonder Clip. So I'm going to take this binding right here and roll this over. When you sew this, this should barely go over the seam line. It doesn't really matter if you use these on the front or the back of the clips. I don't even know if there is a front or back on the clips. So I'm just putting this here. And I'm going to release the fabric when I get to that clip. So if it's not quite covering that seam, it doesn't matter because I'll come back with my needle and get that. I'm showing you two different kinds of hand quilting thread here, but both of them are a glazed thread. And by glazed, I mean that it's very, very strong and it's smooth, it's very silky. So this is what I would normally put on this quilt, it would be black so that the, it would not show on here. But I'm gonna show you the white because I want you to see that you can actually hide that whole thread underneath here. So you're going to cut the thread and don't cut it any further than your elbow. So that's how I measure it. That may seem kind of short to you, but it is actually easier to use. I use a seven or uh, nine between needle for this. You'll also find that glazed thread is easier to thread your needle with. Okay, we're gonna take this right here. This is called a quilter's knot. So you're gonna take the tip of the thread, lay the thread like this, wrap it around three or four times. Now put that under your thumb and pull the point of your needle. Carefully pull it. You will end up with a perfect small knot. Trim that off. We're gonna bury this knot when we start. So I'm going to put this in the batting and come out right on that seam. And remember, I would be using black, not white, the white so that you can see how well it hides. And then I'm going to make a tiny little stitch there. We'll remove the clip. I'm going into the batting now, into this seam right here. You'll see just a thread above that seam. And then I'm gonna take a little tiny bite right above that, up, of the binding. Stitches are about a quarter of an inch. Then I'm going to go right back into where this is and take it down just a tiny bit. Go back into here to secure that quarter inch seam. You don't have to get the measuring tape out to uh, measure that quarter inch seam. Just do it approximately. Now I'm going to go in again when I was a little girl, my mom taught me to put my thread through the binding, but that's not the most strongest place to run that thread under. Run it with your batting because it's much more secure. And see when I pull that, see how you can hardly see that thread at all, even though it's white? Okay, we're going to do one more stitch. Going directly where that was and just taking a tiny little bite out of it. Now what I'm going to show you is how to tie it off. See how that looks? So we're going to release this and I'm going to do one knot. And I'm going to do it just like I did the other one. I'm going to wrap it around a few times. I'm just doing it two times here because I'm going to hide it. 
put my finger right there where that knot is. See, I've got just a little bit of tension on that knot. I hope you can see that. I'll put that knot over here so you can see that. And so I'm going to take that and go right in there, right where the seam is. Give it a tug. You probably didn't hear that, but it has a little snap to it. Remove it. And what a nice little way to do your hand binding where it doesn't show at all. I hope you visit more of our videos at Prairie Quilt.